Hello, welcome to the Monday, October 26, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Probably the most popular site to find systems that are exposed to the internet uh, tends to be Shodan. Shodan, of course, builds itself sort of as the search engine for the Internet of Things and regularly scans the internet for systems that are exposed. In a diary from this weekend, Guy reminds us, well, that Shodan is not alone. There are other sites, in particular Census is a site that Guy introduces here with some links and examples and how to use the site. Somewhat similar to Shodan in its approach, they're essentially port scanning the internet in regular intervals and then publish information about certificates and banners. Personally, I found census in particular useful uh, to look for certificates. Also, of course, things like shared certificates among different sites. And the second diary from this weekend was also tool oriented. Of course, Russ is always good in introducing new and interesting tool. This time it's about Sudi. Sudi was written for SOC analysts in order to have a quick and simple command line tool to research IP addresses, domain names, and the like. A pretty neat tool, a pretty simple, and that's really the goal here to make it simple and fast. And of course, attacks against machine learning is one of, sort of the up and coming trends uh, these days. And Microsoft, MITRE, IBM, and a number of other companies got together to essentially create something like the MITRE attack matrix for machine learning. One of the risks, of course, of machine learning is that once you have a fully trained machine learning model, it's uh, not really all that easy to figure out how it exactly works. And so one of the threats they're looking at here is, for example, pre-trained machine learning models with backdoors. Also, the theft of machine learning models is certainly a problem they're talking about. And then also the model poisoning or data poisoning, where essentially you are manipulating the data that's being used to train a particular model. And of course, a lot of the attacks are conducted via some sort of traditional means like phishing, like for example, using a leaked valid account in order to essentially just log in. The matrix is available on GitHub and also comes with a number of curated case studies. Of course, all of this is very much work in progress. And F-Secure found an interesting vulnerability in the Samsung S20 device that could lead to remote code execution. Now, often, of course, we are warning of third-party app stores and the like because people are using them to distribute malicious applications. In this case, it's actually the Galaxy Store that is pre-installed on these Samsung devices that is responsible for the vulnerability, but not by installing a malicious application directly from the store. The problem is that the connection to the store is over HTTP and an attacker could inject malicious content if it's coming back. Now, the attack chain they're here suggesting is that a victim would scan a NFC tag that would instruct the phone to install an application from the Samsung Galaxy Store, but the attacker would then intercept that installation process via a machine in the middle attack and instead deliver a malicious application. This problem has been fixed and Samsung did release a patch. So if you're using a Samsung S20 device, make sure you're running the latest version of the Galaxy Store application. And VMware last week published an advisory with patches for multiple security vulnerabilities in VMware ESXi, VMware Workstation Pro, 
and VMware Fusion Pro NSXT, as well as VMware Cloud Foundation. The more severe of these vulnerabilities with a CVSS score of 9.8 does affect ESXi and VMware Cloud Foundation. Now, this is a use after free vulnerability in the open SLP process it's accessible via port 427 but should only really be exposed on the management network so yet another good reminder to keep that management network separate and well that's it for today thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye